So let's draw the picture again. There's our eyeball. We have an object out here. It has a height, HO. It is at a distance, DO, from the eyeball. DI is the distance to the back of the retina. And we just said that the angular magnification will lead to an HI right there. And we've got what we can call an angular size to this thing if we define this angle theta. Now since this ray didn't bend, angle theta there is the exact same as angle theta there. And so we can write the following. Tangent of theta is HO over DO or HI over DI. Right? Tangent is this side of the triangle over this side of the triangle, HO over DO, which is the same as HI over DI. And now for the small angle approximation, we have the following. Tangent theta is basically the same as sine theta, and we're just going to call that theta. And remember, theta is in units of radians. Okay. And so we can write down the angular size. Theta is just going to be HO over DO. Okay, so this might have been where we went wrong before when we were calculating part B of that other problem. And it's because the object was so close to the focal point that the image got huge and we might not have been satisfying the small angle approximation anymore. Okay, so when you revisit that problem, Look at not doing this, but just doing this and trying to solve for theta that way. I think that might be where we went wrong. Okay, so this is the picture with the bare eyeball, but now we're going to add the extra lens. Okay, so let's redraw the picture and let's put in that extra lens. So we're going to add a magnifying glass right in front. And now the object can be a lot closer. The object height is still the same, of course, but DO got smaller. di is the same, and let's call this the image height prime now, some new image. And hi prime is clearly bigger, and it's just bigger because the object is now closer. Okay, so what's the magnification? Well, if we call this theta prime now, then we have the following. The magnification m is theta prime over theta. What is our new angle compared to our old angle? And this you can show it is the following. It is approximately n divided by do, where this n is the following. It's the closest distance without the lens divided by do, which is the closest 
the closest distance with the lens. The magnifying glass, the extra lens. Okay, so you do a little bit of math here. And we're not going to do it here, but we will signify it by this squiggly line. And what you can find is the magnification is going to be 1 over f minus 1 over di, all of that times n.